If negative two comma negative seven is a point on the terminal side of an angle, what is the reference angle and what is the smallest possible positive angle containing the point? Let's first plot the point negative two comma negative seven. Because we're looking for the smallest possible positive angle containing this point, the initial side is along the positive x-axis, the terminal side passes through the point, and again, because we're looking for the smallest possible positive angle, the angle would need to be this angle here. We also know on the coordinate plane, tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. So if we call the angle we are looking for angle A, we know that tangent A must equal y divided by x, or in our case, negative seven divided by negative two, which simplifies to positive seven halves. And now to solve for angle A, we would take the inverse tangent on both sides of the equation. Simplifying on the left, inverse tangent of tangent A is equal to A, giving us A is equal to inverse tangent of seven halves. Now we'll go to the calculator, evaluate inverse tangent of seven halves, which will help us determine the reference angle as well as the angle we are looking for. It's important to make sure the calculator is in radian mode. Click functions, click inverse tangent, click main, enter seven divided by two, right arrow, close parenthesis, and enter. To four decimal places, we have 1.2925 radians. But this is not the angle we are looking for. 1.2925 is less than pi over two radians. This angle is in the first quadrant. So let's go ahead and label this angle A prime, and let's also sketch it. It has the same tangent function value as the angle we are looking for, but it's in the first quadrant. The initial side is along the positive x-axis, and the terminal side would be in the opposite direction of the angle we are looking for. The terminal side would be here. And the measure of this angle is 1.2925 radians. Notice how this is also the reference angle of the angle, and since this angle and the angle we are looking for have the same tangent function value, the reference angles would also be the same. So now we know the reference angle for our angle is also 1.2925 radians, the same as the reference angle of the angle in quadrant one. Let's go ahead and record this above. 1.2925 radians. And now that we know the reference angle for the smallest possible positive angle in the third quadrant, we can determine the measure by taking pi radians and then adding the reference angle. So the angle we are looking for, angle A, is equal to pi radians plus 1.2925 radians. If we take a look at our notes below, if we know angle A is between zero and two pi radians, and it terminates in quadrant three, angle A is equal to pi plus the reference angle. Before we determine the sum, you might be wondering why the calculator gave us the angle in the first quadrant rather than the angle in the third quadrant. Well, that has to deal with the output of the inverse tangent function, but also notice how when both the x and y coordinates are negative, the tangent function value is positive, and the tangent function value is also positive in the first quadrant where both x and y are positive. And now let's determine the angle we are looking for by determining the sum. The smallest possible positive angle passing through the given point is approximately 4.4341 radians. I hope you found this helpful.